Hey everybody, Martin here, gonna do a little sound bath, but at the same time I'm gonna show you instruments that I am selling. I made these a little while ago, and I'll give you the number. So if you like, if I say number one, that's number one, okay? Um, we'll worry about what we'll call it later. Let's just call it number one. Here we go. I'm just gonna say a number and I'll play it, okay? Some of these instruments are really way out there and haven't been made by other people because um, there's a whole lot of them that you you have not seen yet. And I only, like this one is a very weird one, and this one with a snake on it. Uh, they're able to do all kinds of crazy things. Don't want to explain it, so here I go. Let me play. Number one. This is painted with natural pigment paint that I made. That's red ochre, yellow ochre, and white chalk. They did paint the instrument. They didn't use glazes. Number four, also painted with natural pigment paint. Those are energy symbols from my culture. That's from Durango, Mexico, the Tepehuano people. Those little wavy are energy symbols. The clay was white.
This one was engraved and then painted with a clay paint from the same clay, only made darker. It's a snake-shaped flute. Yes, I know. And those are symbols of music or elegant speech. It's what they call a tomb flute. So it's closed at the end. It has a very interesting sound. Number six. Beautiful paint. And again, I make this paint. I'll be making more. This one was made and then it fell. It's got a crack. I'm going to sell it for five bucks. Number seven, a tomb flute. With a symbol of music on the side and painted with its own same clay. Very clean work. I do very good clean work. And they're all signed. They have a little stamp of a pyramid shape of an M. Hole on the bottom, hole on top. Number eight, engraved and painted with natural pigment paint, and yellow ochre, red ochre, and the clay paint itself. Number nine, this is a strange one. You're gonna hear one pitch of low, one of high, and one where they both happen at the same time.
Number 10. This is a very strange one too. He's only got two holes, but it produces a wild variety of tone. Double Ocarina, number 11. Number 12, two holes engraved and painted. Number 13, two ocarinas side by side. I have to make a note about this. It's a male bird, I mean a female bird, looking straight ahead, and the male bird's kind of like looking at her like, hey, what's up? You can see how he's looking at her. From behind or from top. There you go. Here's the male bird right there. Two ocarinas side by side, two separate mouthpiece. Made to sound dissonant or weird.
not for sale, but I'm going to be making more of these or lapizales in the form of flowers. They carry four notes and three holes. And as you can see, they're painted with natural colors and engraved and looking all pretty like me. So I have to make these to order. These ones are all ready to go.